start with House District 40 B. Now this includes all of Brooklyn Center and a very small slice of Brooklyn Park. It is a very diverse district. The seat has been held for many years by Deborah Hillstrom, who ran for Minnesota Attorney General and of course stepped down. The two candidates, Robert Marvin, the Republican, and Samantha Vang, the DFL candidate, and with eight out of 10 precincts reporting, Samantha Vang with a 73 to 27 percent lead on Robert Marvin. Uh, Vang just 24 years old and the first in her family to graduate from college, and it looks like she is very close to uh, being elected to uh, District 40B and reporter Eric Nelson spoke with Samantha Vang just a bit ago as the results came in. All right, thanks a lot, Shannon and John. I'm joined now by Samantha Vang, who could well make history tonight, perhaps becoming the first Asian female from Hmong descent in the Minnesota House. I know it's your uh, initial foray into running for office. How's it going? Yeah, well, you know, it's been a long day for me and the team. Um, it's been a long journey, but we are feel rejuvenated and uh, energized and excited to uh, 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 look forward to the results. You come out of District 40B representing Brooklyn Center. Uh, you know about the city. It's a majority minority city, heavy Asian population. Uh, you feel you can bring a new voice if elected, don't you? Yes, I feel, you know, um, since the very beginning, uh, I've, we've always aimed to put the people first. And that means engaging communities from all across the board and e even including those who haven't been ever been engaged by elected officials or politicians. And there are many times when I was at the doors where they were surprised and they were thrilled to have a politician at their footstep, uh, at their um, uh, doorstep. And so it's uh, really exciting uh, that we've been able to turn out many people who have become first time voters today too. A lot of hot button issues. Let's start with a few uh, jobs. That's always at the forefront, isn't it? Yes, yes. Uh, workforce development is a, a top priority of mine. Uh, we have uh, what in our community call a work skills gap where um, uh, the community don't really have the skills in order to attract the kind of jobs here. And, and I also want to foster small businesses, uh, encourage more local hiring. Um, I think uh, we have an opportunity here in the, in the community where we can attract more jobs and also encourage uh, our, our local businesses here as well. Affordable housing. Brooklyn Center is an inner ring suburb, great proximity to downtown Minneapolis, but you got to be able to afford to live, right? Yes, that's true. Uh, it's a it's a big issue all around uh, nationwide, I believe, and uh, it's important that uh, people uh, can afford to own a home and to able uh, to uh, rent a home. Um, um, and it's really important that we uh, make that a top priority of ours. And what separates you from your opponent, Robert Marvin? Yeah, I believe that I have the dedication and I've done the hard work. Uh, to make sure that I hear um, every uh, single um, issue that uh, our community is concerned about. Um, you know, as I've shown them from the primary till now, I've been, uh, I've walked over uh, 150 uh, miles um, talking to constituents, um, communities from all across the board about what issues they care about. And I believe I've done the work and I uh, am looking forward to uh, represent everybody at the Capitol. So you're wearing out the Fitbit, Samantha Vang, hoping to make some history tonight. Could be off to the Minnesota House. We'll kick it back now to John Jacobson and uh, Shannon. 